Hi, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto. And welcome to my VVVV beta tutorial. So with my last tutorial, I shared how I record images inside using VVVV uh, using writer node. So if you haven't seen that, uh, please watch it. And today I'm going to share how I record uh, videos generated inside VVVV using external software code OBS. So let's see how that works. So this is how OBS looks like. Uh, since now I'm recording this tutorial through OBS, uh, it's kind of like noisy that you see all this mirror thing, but this is the basic uh, UI of it. And uh, so when I'm recording tutorials, this is what I'm basically doing. So I'm switching Oh, you can't see why I'm switching. But if I click this scene too, then it changes the particle if I go back. And then if I click this opening thing, then it's connected to my HDRI camera so that I can record myself. So that's how I'm recording uh, this tu uh, my tutorial. And also I have different cameras connected to my computer. So this is how my desk looks like. So this is the main computer and this is the screen that's recording the particle thing. And I have another portrait screen on this side, which is showing the, uh, how to say, which is showing the VVV preview. So when I'm generating graphics, I'm showing it here, patching it here, watching something else right here. Okay, so what, what, what's cool about um, OBS? Before talking about OBS, let, let me talk about the other software that I've already tried. Um, so if you go to this uh, vv.org documentation capture output, I'll put this link below. Uh, they show what kind of uh, capturing tools they would suggest. So, oh, if you go scroll down, they say screen record, uh, not this one, uh, capture DirectX back buffer. And they say there's Fraps, DX Story, and Open Broadcast software. And this is the one I'm talking about today. I used to use Fraps quite a lot. It was a very, very handy and stable and really good, reliable uh, software to capture it. Uh, but since they stopped uh, uh, updating their software since 2019, it's kind of old. And uh, also they have this special format called, uh, 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 not compression format called Fraps, dot Fraps, and uh, not dot Fraps, Fraps. And that one, using that one, you I always had to use After Effects to convert Fraps to something else. And I didn't like that process. I want to make it lighter. So that's the reason why I stopped using Fraps. Also, I had one project that I was uh, supposed to deliver a video using 4K by 4K. And since Fraps is kind of old for uh, software, they didn't, I couldn't find a way how I could capture above full HD so that's one reason why I gave up of course it says it goes up to this resolution but I don't know it just didn't work on my computer so I had to give up using this one and then of course there's also shadow play for those who's familiar with gaming shadow play might be a good idea as well one I, the, the only reason I, I don't use this is because whenever you start recording it shows this recording are started and I didn't like that one and also the setup and things I don't work with VVV on full screen, so that's another reason why it made me uh, reject this. And so what I'm using right now is this tool called OBS. It's for free. It works on Windows and Macs and Linux, and it's super powerful. So I can record my tutorial using this. I can also set up a streaming and the resolution is also kind of free so if you go to videos right now i'm recording it so i can't edit but this base canvas resolution if i put 4k by 4k i can record the video in that resolution so for example if you have a weird format video that you want to record you can still do that using uh, uh obs for example 19 uh, 20 by 5 let's say it's still recordable and you can also set your uh, uh, FPS and you can also uh, set uh, uh, different type of format. Right now I'm using MOV because whenever I record something, uh, 
when I generate something in Vivi, I record with OBS and that, but since Instagram, it, it has to be portrait, I record like sidewise uh, by rotated, and then I re-rotate that in my iPhone, and then that's how I post it on Instagram. So uh, with MOV, I upload it to Dropbox, and then I can download that locally in my smartphone via Dropbox app, app, and then I can rotate videos like directly inside my smartphone. If it's, I'm not sure if it worked or not, but with they also have format with MP4 or FB, uh, F, FLV, but some of them didn't work on my smart iPhone, so I'm using MOV right now. Here you can select uh, qualities if you want to make it faster or like better quality. I right now set it to in this particular quality large file size. I mean, I don't have limitation with my hard disk space, so I don't care about being at a large file size. And also in quarter, I have a strong uh, GPU, so I use this hardware and Venk thing. Uh, they also have a CPU recorder. I don't think this does matter that much, but if you have a strong CPU, then use CPU. If you have a good GPU, then use the hardware encoder. And also through uh, OBS, you can also set up a stream. So if you put like a Twitch or a YouTube uh, server and stream key here, you can directly stream things to Twitch or YouTube, which is also the cool thing about OBS. This, this kind of thing is not possible through Fraps or through, sh through Shadow Play. And since until I started using OBS, I thought this would be a streaming plat uh, software more than a capturing. But when I started using, when I was looking for it, I actually realized that it's really, really handy for uh, recording as well. So yeah, that's how I use these guys. So whenever I record something, what I'll do is I just bring this to the other portrait monitor, which is on the sidewise. I changed the resolution to my. 80 and then I'll go back here and then I'll press this VVVV recording it's in Japanese it says recording so here everything is like flipped but if I record this and I reflip this in uh, my smartphone then it gets portrayed so that's how I uh, how I post my stuff uh, on Instagram or on social Okay, uh, that's kind of it for what I wanted to share today. Uh, what else should I share? Yeah, so I mean, this is basically how I record my stuff. Once the recording is all done, I have one specific folder uh, located for all these uh, OBS recording. So all my tutorials and daily graphic things are all set in the same folder. So there is a video in full HD format constantly so this one is not a loop but if I open up for example this one I can smoothly play them which is quite nice and the, and the quality of the video is pretty high yeah I think uh, that was it for today uh, in addition I'll share a bit of more uh, stuff from VVVV because we didn't use VVV for today. Uh, in this page, they also mentioned like still recordings. And if you're familiar with visiting this VVVV org website, uh, I mean, definitely you should visit this page. But if you go here, uh, at the moment they're showing uh, this uh, real cool, really cool show reel, but. Before that, they kept showing, I think it was from this page, so this gallery thing, not the gallery. Is it the gallery? Oh, yeah. No, it's not this one. A screenshot of the day. So, this screenshot of the day is something that you can post directly, uh, an image directly from VVVV. And uh, so you can actually see what kind of things are happening or like what people are experimenting with. And uh, to do this, uh, what you have to do is, I think it was control three. So if I bring back my, I'm back OBS. I'm gonna just put it here. 
And then I'll bring the screen out to this monitor. Okay. And then I'll change the resolution to 1980. Okay, this looks good. And then if I press uh, Control 3, it shows this communicator thing. And, and if I, so I have my account, so and then I can name here and I'm from Japan. So I just changed this one to Japan. And if you press upload, your image will be uh, shown in that gallery that I just showed you. So by this, if you're new with VVV, please feel free to use this function control four, uh, control three, and then open up this communicator, write up your name or uh, log in with your account. If you don't have an account, you can still post it. So just put your name here and then press upload. Then you sh your images should be shown here. So if you're following this tutorial, it will be a very big help. If you can prove that you followed this tutorial and made something, just post it here. That would be fantastic. Yeah, and there's some other uh, knowledge is shared here if you're interested in using, like for example, uploading GIFs. They have this recorder window node which helps you to capture output as a GIF. So I think the working process is quite similar to the last tutorial I made. You just have to use this one rather than the one I shared. So this one is very powerful. Uh, and there's also some other things. Oh yeah, and one last thing uh, related to OBS. So I just shared how to use OBS with multiple screens. But if you don't have multiple screens, you can still use OBS. For example, if you're on a laptop, you don't have the second screen. Uh, don't feel like crazy because you can't, uh, you don't have second screen. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can set a shortcut here. And for example, if you set Alt, I don't know, Record, oh wait, what? Alt 6, no, Alt 3, A. I'll just say Alt 3. Okay, so I'll set Alt 3, and come on. Oh, it works. So I'll set Control R as my start recording shortcut and I'll apply this. If I do so, uh, what will happen is even though you're uh, with VVVV on full screen, if you press Control 6 or you just uh, press your uh, shortcut, then uh, OBS will start recording even though you're not on OBS. So with this, you can make it full screen on your laptop and then press the shortcut button start recording and whenever you're done just stop recording also you also have to set your shortcut on the stop recording but if you do that uh, even though you're with laptop you should be able to uh, record VVVV outputs so yeah that was it for today I hope it helped uh, let me know if you have any specific tutorials that you want to watch I'll feel uh, feel free to reach me out uh, also follow my Instagram or tutorial if you're interested uh, Instagram or Twitter if you're interested in uh, following my daily project. Thanks for watching and see you next time.